Good morning everyone, so it is Thursday, not the best lighting, and I'm going to get my eyebrows microbladed again. I also have my new City Gas pop-up shop today, so I have to get ready early. I don't know how that's going to be. The place I get them done is in Laval, so I don't really know how timing is going to work. I don't think I'm going to come back all the way to where I live because it's like an hour away. I was about to leave and the doorbell rang. I got my KKW Beauty order. Oh, look. Look at that. It's all there. Okay, so I think I got four. All of this is mine except number one. This is Allie's new number one. And Allie also got a concealer, so this is all mine. I don't know if I want to bring it or just put it on now. I think I want to do nude two with nude four. Let's try that on now. So then I got my Zara order. I got, I placed this order two days ago and it's already here, so that is amazing. It's like this, super cute. I've actually never really ordered from Zara online. Okay, so the first thing I got was this dress, which I didn't know it had like silver detailing down it, but it's just like blouse dress. Then I got these, these are what I was super excited about. These are the, ooh, they're so cool. These are like the dad shoes. They're like the coolest nude color. I'm gonna wear those. I can't wait to wear these tomorrow. Ooh, I really like those. And then the last thing I got was another pair of shoes on sale. Cause I love their shoes. And it's just a pair of like thigh high boots. But this is gonna be too big for my leg pair of thigh high boots um, to wear in the summertime because they have like an open toe heel and they were on sale so I was like why not so they're they're like small and they have this thing so I don't know I might wear I have a birthday tomorrow so I might wear these tomorrow So I really have to leave. Um, I have on my lips, I put the lip liner in number two and the lipstick in number um, two also. So if you couldn't tell from my runch, runched, what the hell? <laughs> from my rushed introduction, um, I'm getting my eyebrows microbladed again today. Well, I'm, I was supposed to go six weeks after I first got it done um, to do like a touch up, but I didn't end up ever going. I was bad, so I'm going now. I don't have any eyebrows on and I feel so weird. Normally my eyebrows are so much darker. I feel weird and I have the KKW lipstick on. It's kind of like all gone now because I ate a banana. <laughs> but uh, so far my first impression is as good. I'm going to use them in my... Um, get ready with me tomorrow because I also got the concealer so anyways that's what I'm doing now I'm a little bit early I was rushing out of my house because I thought I was gonna be late but I ended up being and I ended up getting here in 45 minutes I thought it was gonna take me an hour so I'm gonna wait I don't know how long this appointment's gonna take definitely not as long as the first one I think the first one took like maybe an hour and a half then I have the pop-up shop at it's only at four I have to be there at four but I live far I don't really want to drive all the way back and then all the way back downtown so i may just go to the mall in this area if you don't know the girl who does my eyebrow microblading is in laval so i may just go to car for laval i don't need to shop you guys saw i got my zara order i'm even more obsessed with them now than i was before these are the brows they have a little bit of the cream on them hello these are them microbladed. Her name is Eliana. Basically, all her details will be down below. I really like her because she's very meticulous. She does exactly what you want. Like, this is literally how I fill my brows in. As she's doing them, because I'm very picky, she, like, made me get up and be like, what do you want? And I was like, a little bit more here, a little bit longer here, a little bit more here. So, basically, I could not be happier. She's, like, has, she's given me the best microblading experience, not to mention that she's the sweetest girl. My sister did, um, a micro microblading video all about how like why she doesn't recommend microblading but honestly I really love microblading um when I don't have makeup on it makes my face just look more put together but it's not so much to the point where you're like you look like you have tattooed um eyebrows on ah! <laughs> we're at the new city gas pop-up shop and we have everything set up so this is what it looks like if you want to come we typically do it on every Thursday when it's nice out so we actually made these 
it all ourselves. We wanted to go for a very market theme, so we have the eye, the lemon, the flamingos, watermelon, and the peach. And then we have some flowers. It is now 9.50. I just got home from the pop-up shop. We left a little bit early because I was starving. I really wanted a mandy salad, and I got my mandy salad. I also got the um, Asian sesame dressing. This is so good from Mandy's. If you want to make it yourself, it has apple cider vinegar, tamari, sugar, oil, and sesame oil. It is the best dressing in the world. I know it's not like the best for you because it has sugar, but it's so good. Before I do a little bit of work, I think I'm going to redo my nails, which they're still looking really good. A lot of you guys were wondering how my nails held up, and my nails are, they're still going strong. You can see I have all of them. None of them broke. They were all like, they all lasted really long. But they're like kind of growing out and I also bought a nail drill which I thought was like super cool So I wanted to use that. I had look at this greasy nose But I really want to do my nails and I have my best friend's birthday tomorrow So I want my nails to be nice and I think I'm gonna take them off and do a different color Everyone, So it is that at the biggest list with this in this line It's Saturday and I have to return some things I got uh, ordered online at, at Sephora at Zara So I'm gonna go do that it's kind of ugly outside today. I feel like it looks cold, so I wore a long sleeve shirt, but it may be hot. This top is from Aritzia. It's just a nude, really pretty. It's not really pretty. It's just like really comfortable and light, and I have it tied. I have my TNA leggings. These are the pants. I'm not exactly sure. I posted the exact ones that they were on my uh, stories. These are my shoes from Zara. They're kind of like the dad shoes. I've really been really liking them. I might push at Matisse and... Oh, I have lipstick on my Cute. <laughs> it always gets stuck on my Invisalign. I think I'm going to put on this perfume. It's Elizabeth and James Black Nirvana. And I'm kind of in the mood for that, like, warm. It's like a hug. I feel like it, that's what a hug smells like. I don't really have anything to wear with these boots. This I am going to return. And then in the same haul, you guys saw, I got these shoes. So those are a hit. And I also want to check out their new collection because I wanted to order a dress but I didn't I wanted to try it on first so I'm gonna see what they have I feel like I've been to the mall so much recently so I don't want to make it long but I have nothing else to do so that was a success I returned my thing at Zara which is was really easy because they give you like a little e-ticket when you buy something online and you just literally just scan it and it goes through the online system, so it's really simple. I stopped at Aritzia because I was in Laval the other day, which is like a city near Montreal, and or it's like an island. And they were at Aritzia, but the service was so slow. I don't understand what it is with that mall. It's like they don't know how to function. I'm not even joking. Every store at that mall is a disaster and people are so rude. Um, but that's besides the point. So I went to my trusty Fairview Point Claire Mall, and I know a lot of you guys don't know where that is, but it's the one, the mall closest to my house is the one I grew up going to, and people are just so nice there. Like, I love shopping there. Do you guys have that one mall that you like shopping at the most? When I go to other malls or when I go shopping downtown, I never find anything to wear. But I remember trying this dress on at the one in Laval. They only had a size small, so I'm thankful that they had an extra small here. I had this dress actually in like a black. I wore it in one of my vlogs from Greece last year. One of my black. It's like just black. It's this but black but in a different material. It's from the brand Wilfred Free. And it's like a slip dress. But this one is in like a satiny like color which is so pretty i thought this looked so pretty i was in laval going to buy the black one that i had because i shrunk it but I, the service was taking so long i didn't end up doing it and i also didn't i like this one so much more it's like a lot more classy obviously the other one's a little bit more casual but this one is so pretty i like the look of like put like as if you're going to bed i know a lot of people don't but i really do so i got a size extra small it fits me super well and i can only imagine like i can picture all the outfits i'm gonna wear with this this too you can dress it up or dress it down like it is a little bit dressier but you, it's not too dressy then i went to um the bay and i got like some spanx type of things because my biggest problem area it's really hot in here 
My biggest problem area on my stomach is my like lower stomach, which I know I could just exercise, but until I get that under control, I wanted some t some type of like Spanx thing to like hold it in when I'm wearing like a dress or anything because it's like it's not crazy, but like I just wish it was like completely flat. So they're hard to find. They are like the, they're just hard to find. And I tried a few on and this is the one, actually I tried four of them on and none of them worked out well. And I don't know why they only had size medium and large, but I got this one. Um, it's from the brand Miracle Suit. It's a high-waisted thong. I need one that's like pretty tight and a pretty thick material. The other ones like felt like they did absolutely nothing. So this one is like pretty tight and um, like a pretty thick material and it's a thong which I like I don't even know I didn't try this one on because at that point I was so fed up and then these are super cute so cute <laughs> but I wanted to try them these were only $18 so I thought that like if anything I can just like make it into a thong but it looked like this was like really tight so I thought it would be good to like hold in the midsection then I went to um, Starbucks but the line was so long that I was like F that I'm not waiting but I really wish I I wish I got it but I couldn't it was so packed and then I went to winners but they didn't get anything new because I've been so many times this week but now my next mission is to redo my office so that's I'm gonna slowly start doing that because I just did my room. I just got home a little bit ago and I wanted to show you what I picked up today, what I got today, and all that fun stuff. So my hair is lighter. It may not be picking up as lighter in this camera at like because of the lighting. It definitely is a lot lighter than what it was. I don't think it's picking up in this lighting, but it definitely is. I know I just bought the Becca. Okay, what well, he does this thing where he wants to come on the bed but then jumps away when I go to pick him up. I just bought that new Becca bronzer. I have a few bronzers, but none of them are like really giving me that bronzy look I wanted. And I ran out completely of my Hula bronzer, which I used, like I don't use up anything and I used up my Hula bronzer, but I didn't want to get another Hula bronzer. Oh, okay. So I went this morning and I got a few things. <laughs> it's actually funny. They're gonna think, they're gonna hate me. Like my Sephora for sure hates me. But I got the Anastasia Beverly Hills bronzer. They're one of their new ones that's so chalk, like it's so pigmented that you like swipe your finger. It's just too much for a bronzer, but that's what I thought I wanted. Anyways, it was so red on my face. It made me look so burnt, like so, you know, it's just like when you have the wrong foundation color, you know, Leo. Anyways, I also bought the um, Lancome lip, sh lip matte lip shaker in completely nut because Alana Davison raves about these things all the time but it looked like absolutely nothing on my lips. Also I ran out of my Tarte Shape Tape in the color medium which is really sad. It's my favorite. The same time that I got the the Anastasia bronzer and that lip shaker that I returned I got two products. I got this. This is the Benefit Gimme Brow. It adds a little bit of dimension to my eyebrow and I really like this. It's really small for how much it is which is kind of like, I thought this was a tester, but this is the actual product. And for reference, I got the color number four. Um, so I'm gonna try this tomorrow by itself. It looks, it has like a strong pigmentation. It also has fibers in the actual product. So it adds like bushiness to your brow, which is something I need because my brows aren't like the thickest. Oh, and then I got this. So this is the Sol de Janeiro, I think that's what it is. The Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Crush Spray Body um, Body Fragrance Mist. I have the body cream and I love the smell of the body cream. It smells like a tropical vacation, but that's warm and has vanilla and it smells, it's not like um, a fake perfume smell. It smells like you can possibly just smell that good as if maybe it was like your body wash, you don't know, like you just smell so good. And I put this on my arm when I started shopping around and I have like seen the smaller bottles. I put it on my, on my arm, um, I shopped, and then I was smelling it the whole time and nor like perfumes do not stick on me. And I know it's not like I stop, I just stop smelling it because there's certain things that do. But most of the time, perfume does not stick on me. So I sprayed this and when I was checking out, I ran out of the line to go get this because it stayed on me. And a lot of you guys, I showed this on my Instagram story, a lot of you guys didn't even know that Brazilian Bum Bum 
I call it Brazilian bum bum because that's what they call their cream, but the Brazilian um, Sol de Janeiro cream that you didn't know they had a scent and it smells exactly identical, the same as the cream. The smell makes me want to cry, it's so good. <coughs> it doesn't taste good. What really sold me on this is that it's so warm and buttery and it's the best scent in the world you definitely you need that in your life they have a smaller bottle too i would have gotten the smaller one but i just didn't see it something really sad happened to me i lost my kkw um lip liner sometime during the day i know it fell out when i was putting gas but i picked it up and then i was on my way home after sephora and i couldn't find it and i have my new gucci bag so it's it's like a pretty hard it's like that design of their bag is like a pain in the freaking ass. <sighs> Whoever designed that, seriously, I don't understand. I love the look of the bag, but it's a pain in the ass. So I, it fell out somewhere and I looked in my car. I called Sephora. I don't, I don't know where it is, but anyways. After when I went to return my thing at Sephora, I got a few other things um, slash exchanged it, so I got this bronzer, I've loved, I know I like this bronzer, so that's why I got it, it's the long wear matte bronzer, um, from Too Faced, it, I think it's in the medium shade, I hated the other packaging, and this packaging is so nice, so that's what it looks like, and you guys know, it smells like chocolate, I got the, um, NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in, medium one custard because I used to love this. I know I said I wouldn't repurchase this, but I've been having a hard time with my makeup lately and I don't like how heavy some concealers are. And then I went to MAC and I wanted, um, I was looking at Spice because a lot of people have been talking about Spice recently, the lip liner. I don't like it's too red, but I saw this one. It is um, called Toast and Butter. It is the lip intensity lip pencil and it is more of like a brown you guys know i'm a more into like that brown color but it also had like a reddish tint to it so i don't know i tested it out in the store and it was really nice and it's really creamy and an easy lip liner and i was kind of mourning the loss of my kkw one which was kind of hard to wear this is similar um but that lip liner number two was literally like dark brown. Then I went to the pharmacy and I wanted to try this out. So I'm going to test this out with you guys um, tonight. This is the um, St. Tropez Self Tan Purity. It's the one that's like clear, doesn't get on your sheets kind of stuff. I'm so pale. I have to tan my whole body because I'm going up north swimming. <sighs> I'm so pale. My face is really pale too, but apparently this is really good. So I'm going to try this tonight and I'm going to let you guys know how it goes tomorrow morning. I got this. It's the Maybelline Fit Me Powder in the color 120. Just to brighten up my under eyes, I wanted like a really light powder. And a lot of you guys like this powder. I asked and a lot of you guys like this one. So it seems really light and sometimes, you know, you just need the brightness under your eyes. So I thought that this would be really good. I got suckered into buying another pair of Just Fab shoes because... I forgot to skip the freaking month. I need to cancel my membership because I always get suckered into buying shoes. I mean, I do love these. My sister actually ordered these and I copied her. They're kind of like Gucci, similar to like the Gucci shoes or kind of Gucci lookalikes. Um, so yeah, they were, they ended up being like considered free because I didn't have to buy anything at checkout, but I still got charged on the credit. We are trying the St. Tropez self tan purity I went to blend in just wash my face there's absolutely nothing I didn't moisturize I didn't put any anything on so I mean open this up I don't know if you're supposed to like only spray this at night or oh that's a good mister and it smells good I don't know how much this is a put. Is that enough? It's like a really nice mister. It's not like um, a splotchy one. That, I don't know if I'm going to put anything else on. And we'll see if it gets me any darker in the morning.
off my workout reverse stairmaster i'm going to go to starbucks and get a an iced americano because i ran out of coffee this morning um yeah so my gym outfit is this top from the bra bar it's like a little sports bra thing it doesn't give you a lot of support but my boobs <laughs> don't really move all that much um these leggings are from i say they're the tna leggings i think they're on sale they're the tna pants they're the thicker ones they're originally 60, but they're on sale for like 55. And your Gucci bag, which I'm obsessed with because you can wear it as a belt bag. Crossbody, one shoulder. It's like a little bit of a shorter crossbody because I have it like tied underneath. If not, it comes like down to here, which is not the look I'm going for today. And then I want to go to Winners. Necklaces are the Diamond by the Yard or something from Tiffany & Co. And then my Twisted Diamond Choker from CNC. Gatsby Ring from CNC. Sunglasses always linked down below and my using so That's today. I'm still out of breath. That was a great workout job. I have to empty out this card. It's such a disaster But that workout it made me feel a little bit better Right now I feel like still kind of nauseous. Oh, I got a comment from someone being like why do you always change who you go to you change your eyelash person then you change your hair person if I went to someone and I recommend them to you, it's because it, they're good. It doesn't mean just because I try someone new that that person wasn't good or I wouldn't go back to that person or you shouldn't go to that person. I am just, I am always looking to try new things. Just like I always buy new makeup to try, I always want to try new technicians, new hairdressers, new, except Nolan, he's Okay, if you think you're coming in front of me, you are so wrong, Miss J. It's this 18-wheeler truck. So I don't want you to think that just because I, let's say I went to Isabella for the first time I lighted my hair, then I went to Angela at Blunt last, uh, yesterday, doesn't mean that Isabella wasn't good. They're both amazing, but I just am always wanting to try new things. And I think that when you don't try these new things, it's when you become a creature of habit, and then it's good to stick with one person and stick with one thing but you never know maybe from trying these things you will find someone you like more or um, you will discover new things or you will you know I just am always testing out new people and also if I the more people I test out the more people I can review for you someone literally wrote on my, my picture why do you keep switching like as if I'm not allowed to switch my hairdresser if I wanted to also, I think this week's video on Friday is going to be pushed to Saturday because I am going to be not home on Friday. Alright, let me clean out the garbage in this car. First, got my coffee, I got an iced Americano, and then I add the vanilla powder and the cinnamon to it. So that's my favorite drink, my go-to drink recently. Um, and then, now I'm going to... <coughs> I don't know, ever since I saw Nolan's freaking cat, I've been sneezing non-stop. I feel so bad for people with allergies. I've never had allergies. I've only ever been allergic to cats. I was wondering, when does Winners get their new stock in? I think my sister said every Tuesday, but I'm going to probably ask. That would make more sense, most sense.
already so you guys saw my workout this morning and I wanted to give you a quick update on the facial tanning spray so I noticed I woke up I definitely woke up with a darker face I don't think you can see I really like it because my face was so pale I don't think it's coming like picking up on camera but my face was so pale and now it looks like it has like a subtle glow a subtle um tan it's definitely not like as if you slapped loving tan on your face which you know who really wants to put like wake up looking like that because when you put makeup on after it looks kind of yucky so i think i would definitely use it again it was really easy to apply i actually didn't apply any cream on top and it didn't dry my face out at all all i did was put some of the cream on my eyebrows it didn't dry my face out at all it really gave me a natural like it i'm looking at myself in the mirror and it's not picking up on camera like how much of it like it deepened my skin i really liked how easy it was and i think i'm gonna go and try the not today but i'm gonna eventually try the actual tanner all my sheets and everything are white and i don't want to ruin all of them with tanner so i've kind of been putting off tanning i think at where i bought it, it was 36 dollars canadian which is not bad for a face tanner there's no directions on the bottle and when i looked it up i couldn't see any directions like i that i couldn't find any it looks really good like it really it gave me a subtle glow and i'm really happy with it and i can see how you can build it up every night so easy to apply and i'm gonna try applying it on top of like my regular creams tonight and see how it works but overall i'm really happy with how it came out and i 10 on 10 would recommend